Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what other videos you would like to see. Please subscribe for more videos and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates. Today I will show you how to create this mini mannequin. To create this mini mannequin, the items you need are your pattern. Here is the pattern and you can download the pattern in the link below. You need the paper scissors. You need the fabric scissors. You need the filling. I used polyfilling. You need cardboard paper. Draping tape. Hand needle. And your thimble. You need thread. You need this wooden pole just like I have used here. And of course you need your cotton fabric and sewing machine. And I have my little helper, Juniper. So let's get started. So here I have the items I'll be using to create my mini mannequin. I have cut out my mannequin pattern pieces. This is the cotton fabric I'll be using for it. On these pattern pieces, I've got the center back, I've got the side back, I've got the center front and the side front. So I'll go ahead and lay them on fabric to cut. Also, you, you need to cut out the bottom cover, the top arm cover and neck cover on cardboard. Then place over your cotton fabric and cut around them with enough fabric to enclose them. So I have gone ahead to lay all the pattern pieces on the fabric making sure to follow the correct instructions. I have the center back on fold. I have the center front on fold and I also have the side back and side front aligning the green lines properly to the selvage. Here, I am cutting out the pattern pieces. So once you cut it out, make sure that you mark the notches so you can align it properly when sewing. Notches help to make sewing a lot easier. So I have gone ahead and cut out all the pattern pieces. This is the center front. And you can see I have that on fold. When I open it out, this is what I have. And this is a side front. And it says cut one pair. I have cut two opposite pieces. I have the side back and I've also cut a pair. I have the center back, which has also been cut on fold. So when I open it out, this is what I have. Here you can see the stuffings I will use to stuff it after sewing to create the shape for the mannequin. So here I am joining the front piece together. So I make sure that I match the notches. Next, I will stitch them together. So I'm stitching the front pieces together. 
and I'm using quarter inch seam allowance for all the seam allowances. So I went ahead and joined all the front pieces, the two sides front to the center front and also the two back side pieces to the center back. Next I will give it a good press but before then I will snip into the curved edges just like this so that it can lay flat when pressed. Here, I have pressed them. This is the front. And you can see the bust shape formed from the darts. And this is the back. The next thing is to join them together, the neck and shoulder, and then the sides. Now I have gone ahead to sew all the way from the neck to the shoulder. I've also sewn this side seam. Now I'm going to sew the second side seam. I have used quarter inch seam allowance all through. And it's all joined together now. Next, I turned it out and it's now ready to be stuffed. I placed the wooden pole in the middle all the way to the top, then went ahead and stuffed like this. This is what it looks like after stuffing. See also the cardboard paper. I've cut out the cardboard paper and um, the cover fabric. Next is to cover the bottom. I created a hole in the middle of the cardboard and also cut the cotton fabric. And I'll use that to cover the under. The hole is to allow us past the wooden pole. This is to cover the neck top and this is to cover the arms. Here I'm hand stitching it to close the bottom part. First I tack on the um, top part of the mannequin to the cover and then use the cover to cover it and, and then stitch it together.
keep going and carefully keep stitching until you cover all round. Here I'm hand stitching it to close the armhole. Next is to close the neck top. So I tuck the cover across the um, cardboard to cover it properly. Here I'm hand stitching the neck top. This is the process I used to do all the hand stitching closures. So it's all done now. Here is the final result. I used the draping tape to go across the center line, the princess lines, the neck, waist, and hip lines. Wow, she's now ready. I would like to give her a name. Any suggestions, please? To get a treat mm. thank you for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and comment below let me know what other videos you would like to see please subscribe for more videos and press the bell icon so you never miss any updates